it's a done deal. Philip Coutinho is joining Barcelona for a British record 146 million pounds, Tom. Incredible stuff. Liverpool gonna pocket a British record there. Yeah, it's a huge deal, uh, and, and the one they were very much after obviously turned down three bids in the summer. The last of those coming at 114, and it seems to have worked, so they've got a bit of extra cash uh, from, from doing that. Barcelona, I think they'll just be pleased to, to finally get their man. They've, they've been pursuing him for a while, haven't they? It's been a protracted saga. He didn't leave in the summer, but he's cup tied for the Champions League, isn't he? So he won't be able to play in that competition. Yeah, uh, he will be, but I think for him and Barcelona, they'll just pleased to get their man at last. I think that they didn't want to wait another half a season to recall. I mean, they could have, I don't know what they could have done, maybe offered him more money, tried to sway him, yeah. and Barcelona didn't want to take that risk, they wanted to get him now. So Liverpool have jetted out to Dubai uh, for a bit of warm weather training, but the news will be, uh, I suppose, more of a relief to Jurgen Klopp because now he can sort of really plan for the future, and, and what will his targets be now? But I think you're right, it's never nice when, when that sort of uh, news is always hanging over the club's head. But no, I think they've expected it, haven't they? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that's done, it's gone away, he can focus on the future. Obviously, they've already got Van Dijk in for 75 million. He's got off to a great start. But where can they invest that extra almost 100 million? Um, Thomas Lamar won Yeah, Thomas Lamar is one. Julian Draxler, as we mentioned, as well as Riyad Mahrez, who's back to his best this season. Yeah, he's been superb, hasn't he? Yeah. So they're all three viable options. But then again, he might want to shore up his number one position. He might want to look to invest the money elsewhere. I think Liverpool already have an amazing attack in Salah and Davina and Mane, so maybe he wants to invest that uh, in his defence and, and golf. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how that pans out. I mean, Coutinho has been one of the Premier League's finest players of recent years. Mm. Sensational star. How does he fit in at the new camp? That's a good question, because obviously they already spent 130 million on Lisbon Dembele, who's obviously just recently come back from injury as well. Um, they've obviously got Messi and Suarez, so it's going to be an interesting uh, combination, but they could have a fab four of their own now with Coutinho, so um, I think he will probably just fit in on the left, probably with, with Messi on the right and Suarez up top. There's been Dembele, maybe he'll play in the middle, maybe Coutinho, it, it, it'll be fascinating, it'll be really interesting. How, how are Liverpool fans taking this, Tom? Is it, is it positive, is it negative? I think because of the sum of the money, a lot of Liverpool fans are understanding of it and I think they've been expecting it, much like we said with the Open Cup, they've been expecting it for a little while and it'll probably be a relief to them as much as anything as well. Obviously they'll be gutted to see him go because he's such a fantastic player but with Salah performing so well I think that's sort of overshadowing. They've found a new hero in the exactly. yeah. Although one support, you can watch the video of Mirror Football, has burned his Coutinho shirt already. Incredible. Speaking of shirts, uh, what shirt number will he have at the new camp? It's a good question, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, Seven, two rounds, that's the one, yeah. Then you could be number seven, yeah. could be. Uh, we'll see, we'll find out. But as soon as we know, you'll know. Find out all the latest transfer news as it happens right here at Mirror Football.